Days after the Bahamas recorded its first case of the novel coronavirus, officials revealed today that two additional people tested positive for COVID-19. The new cases come as the government declared a state of emergency and tabled regulations aimed at stopping the deadly disease from spreading across the Bahamas. It is my mission, my determination, my responsibility to save and to protect every life that I can during this crisis. And I can say with confidence, Mr. Speaker, that we will defeat this threat. And according to the PM, the threat of the COVID-19 pandemic is becoming more real. Dr. Minnis said the additional COVID-19 cases were identified through the Ministry of Health's contact tracing investigations. Those investigations revealed that the additional patients live in the same household as the 61-year-old woman who tested positive for the virus on Sunday. Investigators also found that household members of the COVID-19 positive patient traveled to jurisdictions with known community transmission, including Canada, Trinidad and Dubai. And these also household contacts have been quarantined and samples taken for testing. He added that health care providers are being tested to determine if they also contracted the virus, which can cause pneumonia and originated in Wuhan, China late last year. The PM also tabled an emergency proclamation that revealed a public state of emergency was declared on Tuesday. The proclamation allows the government under the Emergency Powers Act to make regulations for securing public safety and the defense of the Bahamas, among other things. Also tabled on Wednesday was the Emergency Powers COVID-19 Regulations 2020. The regulations grant wide-ranging powers to the Prime Minister that will allow for, among other things, the detention of people infected with COVID-19 or those who travel to infected places, the possible prohibition of assembly of two or more people in any specific area, the requisition of any building, ship or aircraft, a curfew, social distancing and isolation orders, restricted access to specified areas and the prohibition of publishing or reposting false stories. It provides for the governor general to authorize international or regional military or police forces to serve as peace officers. Any person who contravenes the provisions commits an offense and is liable to a fine not exceeding $10,000, a term of imprisonment not exceeding 18 months or both. Minnis would not say if he planned on implementing any of the measures, but he did insist tough and harsh decisions would have to be made. Some of these provisions may be invoked. Some may not. <clears throat> I understand the suffering and the pain that our country may experience with such provisions. But Mr. Speaker, we have seen countries that try to balance the running smooth running of their country and isolating their segments while allowing the spread to continue and find themselves in the worst situation or nightmare that they could have ever thought, dreamt of. He also expressed outrage over the fact that the proclamation and regulations were leaked to the public on Tuesday evening. He said the move caused unneeded public panic. Reporting for Guardian News Network, I'm Jasmine Brown.